What's going on guys, Tyler here, and today we are talking about Elementor template kits. And these are going to be website designs that are pre-created, and we basically just fill in the templates with our pictures and our content, and uh, it makes our site look super nice and super premium feeling. So these are gonna be awesome, awesome website kits, and as of right now, Elementor is actually currently releasing them monthly, so we're getting new template website kits, you know, monthly. So it's it's a great service, a great feature that they have, and just one of the many perks of owning Elementor Pro. Now before we jump into the video, I do just want to say that if you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro, be sure and check out that link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. Honestly, it's just been a, an incredible plugin. It's you know upgraded and just really up the whole design and layout and. Uh, you know, functionality, just everything about my website has like increased by a ton just because I upgraded to Elementor Pro. So honestly, it's been a great, great plugin. I highly recommend it. Um, check out the price down below and, and see what kind of price you can get for it. It really surprised me. It was a lot less than I thought it would be. And uh, for all of the different features and benefits that it comes with, it's a great plugin. So we're just gonna talk about one of those features today, but there are many. And lastly, I just want to say a special thank you to those that have subscribed already and that are returning. Thank you for viewing this video and coming back for each and every video. You guys are the best. With no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and see some website template designs from Elementor Pro. All right, guys, here in my computer now, we're just gonna show you how to add these template designs or these kits right to your website. So it's very simple and easy to do. And what I mean when I say kit is meaning it has multiple pages to this template. So they put out these little templates and they're basically templates that have many pages in them. And so if you need like a home page, an about page, and maybe a contact us page or you know any variation of that stuff, they've put out these different pages and designs all for the same template and they're all supposed to be mobily responsive as well so well, that's the nice thing is however you make it however you design it it should be mobily responsive assuming you stick with their same formatting and designs that they've put in so well, let's go ahead and go over first to library.elementor.com right here and we can actually just take a look and see the different designs that they have right here they have templates for like barbershop online course interior design photography portfolio law firm gym and fitness digital agency all kinds of different designs right here and if we click on one you should just be able to be kind of preview the theme and see if this is what you're looking for when it comes to your website design all right so I've just been going through a few of these and I like this digital agency one right here this is for a digital marketing agency and I just like the layout of it I kind of like the motion effects that we're getting here like the photo is actually moving up while we scroll down and um, some of the text is moving a little bit. There's just some different movement on the page. Things kind of fade in and fade out here, and it just looks very clean. Honestly, I think this looks like a very, very clean template. Um, so I'm, I, I think it's great. I think it's perfect for what I'm trying to do here. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and I can go through the different pages if I want to see them. This is what the About page looks like. Uh, this is what let's just go over to the news page so you can go through all of these themes and kind of look and see if this is the type of theme that that you're going to need or want to use and then uh, you can just go through and do that now what they recommend doing is actually switching over your WordPress theme to the hello Elementor theme so if you actually go into your WordPress backend into the design and go ahead and update your theme you'll want to look for the hello Elementor theme and that's actually going to bring a super basic like clean theme to WordPress meaning there's not a lot of like coding or anything really going on in the theme it's very you know basic and blank um, but it is going to allow for a super lightweight theme and then you can go ahead and add these templates to it so how we're going to do that is actually go over here and we can just go ahead and hit this little folder button right here and then we can go into pages and we can search up whichever template we like from right over here on the template library page. So if let's say we like this digital agency right here, we'll go ahead and just search this up right here, digital agency, and you can see right there, it comes up with all of the pages for our template kit. 
So basically we're just gonna go with the home page right here. We'll hit insert and you'll see it'll be inserted right here. All right, so now that we have it inserted here, all we're gonna do is go over here to the bottom left to settings and we're gonna go ahead and change the page layout for the whole document here and we're going to change it to Elementor full width. Now this is gonna update the page and kind of stretch out the section so that the theme can take up the whole width of the page and not be confined to just a box content area. So now that it's taking up the whole width, we can kind of scroll through and see that this whole theme is here. It looks just like the home page that we wanted and everything is editable right here. So we can just go ahead and start typing things in like maybe her name is Jane. We can go ahead and put that in just like that. So we can go ahead and just edit anything that we need. This simply right here, even like if they have custom items, like for example, this is a slider. We can go ahead and edit these slider things right here. We can go ahead and edit item number two right here. So there's different like aspects that have been built into this theme using all the different, you know, Elementor elements like these right here all of the pro features and different things like that um, they have been all built into this theme right here so we can go ahead and make all of the edits that we need to we can add things we can delete things we can do anything like that that we need now let's go ahead and just drop it down to a if we go down here to the bottom left we can switch it to a tablet view let's, let's see what a tablet view looks like so still very nice it looks very clean yeah very nice we can go ahead and switch it to mobile view and uh, yeah super nice again that's something that's super nice about these templates is they're going to be already optimized for mobile so you can just simply add your stuff and and do whatever you need right from there and it'll be ready to go for mobile now why we're getting this up here is because I've actually designed a custom header. So I've designed this header. I'm not gonna run this theme on my website in particular, but this is kind of where my header is designed. If you need to go ahead and go into your header settings, you can go ahead and design that and kind of adjust it how you need it. Um, you could even pull in, I believe they have templates for headers as well. So you could even pull in a template for a header if you needed that. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. You can kind of get a feel of how you would do this. If you need to insert another um, page, you would simply just delete everything out, clear out the whole page, and then you would go to the folder here and then insert a, this was digital agency. Um, you can insert right down here, you can insert the about page, the services page, social media, clients, contact page, anything like that. It's just as simple as clicking that folder button and then clicking insert here. So I invite you guys to, you know, be sure and check this out. Um, see if these templates will work for you because if they will, it might even save you money in the long run rather than buying a WordPress theme. You can just simply buy Elementor Pro and uh, then get this whole theme with the whole Elementor Pro plugin. So honestly, it's a great option, I think. I think it just makes things so much easier and flow so much nicer. Um, and yeah, guys, this is really just the incredible power of Elementor. Look at some of the design. I just want to show you real quick here, like this design, like this layout and stuff like that. Look at how clean this looks with this learn more button and everything like that. And everything is a different element and it's all created with these Elementor Pro elements. So just very easy things. It also, if nothing else, just opens your eyes to the possibilities of what Elementor Pro and Elementor in general can be used to do. So it just, there's so much that you can do with this plugin so I highly recommend it if you don't have it yet be sure and check out that link down below in the description and see if you can get this Elementor Pro at a good price there all right guys and last thing I did want to show you here is actually how to use this these themes without actually updating your WordPress your main theme switching it over to hello by Elementor and uh, without having to update your header or footers or anything like that, if you wanted to actually just do this, you know, make it super just basic, you could go like this. You could actually go ahead and insert your theme here. So we'll go ahead and look up digital agency again here and insert the home theme. Now this might take just a minute while it imports everything and inserts it all into the page, but what we're actually going to do is remove the header and footer and everything else altogether. So what we're gonna do is go here over to settings and switch our page layout. Now this is the, the part where it's gonna be different. We're gonna switch it to Elementor Canvas. 
Now this is going to take everything off the page and leave pretty much a blank page except for the theme that we have inserted or any content that we've put on the page. Now you can see actually it just goes all the way to the top. There's no header up there anymore and uh, yeah we pretty much have everything designed. We can go ahead and add stuff down here but if you wanted to do this you could actually go ahead and create a new section right here and uh, kind of make your own custom header and then just simply drag it all the way to the top and that would kind of be your header for the page. So it would be just that easy if you wanted to do this all from you know one specific page, you could do that for sure. So um, another option for that might be if you wanted a one page layout or maybe like a landing page, you could go ahead and use this element or canvas option, use one of these themes and then just basically run everything off of this one page. With no menu options, people would have really no option other, to, other than to click these called the action buttons or to leave the page. So that's a great option also if you're making landing pages. So anyway guys, hopes this helps. Um, honestly, I think this feature is just super um, underused and, and super cool. It could help with so much and make design a lot cleaner and a lot faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Well guys, that about wraps it up for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure and tap that nice red look and subscribe button as well as smash that thumbs up button that helps boost this video in the algorithm and helps me continue to make videos just like this one. So if you learned something, give it a thumbs up. And last but not least is check out that link down below in the description. Be sure and see what kind of price you can get for Elementor Pro if you haven't upgraded already. It's really honestly just a great platform. And there's even options to get, you know, like a ton of different Elementor Pro licenses. So you can actually start a, maybe like a little side hustle and start designing and creating websites using Elementor Pro for other people. A lot of people have done it. A lot of people are doing it and making decent money doing it. So if you're interested in a little side hustle, be sure and check that out it would be the elementor pro i believe it's the expert plan so it's going to be a little bit more expensive but you get up to like a thousand licenses so it's definitely an option for you so they've got personal plans you know expert plans all kinds of awesome plans there so check that out and i will catch you guys on the next video take care